Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy, and today I'm going to be talking about the Kentucky Wildcats 2020 football schedule. The Wildcats last year went 7-5 and during the regular season. It was definitely a step back from the year before where they won the Citrus Bowl, and I believe had about 10 wins. So definitely was a step back. Uh, this upcoming season, they're going to be looking to improve. They've got a great quarterback in Joey Gatewood who transferred from Auburn. They did lose some key pieces, but they also have a pretty good recruiting class. It's a, it's in the top 25. Uh, so I'm going to break down their schedule game by game, give an overall record prediction at the end of the video, and I'm going to get into it right away. I will say, uh, despite the good recruiting class and Joey Gatewood um, coming through the transfer portal from Auburn, they are losing Lim Bowden. Uh, he is the he was probably last year the best wide receiver at the to play quarterback last year to put it. He was, you know, he played both wide receiver and quarterback in their bowl game and he was pretty good. Uh but he is going to the draft unfortunately for them. So that's a big loss. Uh but still they have a pretty good quarterback now with Joey Gatewood and a good recruiting class. So let's let's get into this. Let's break it down. Number one, Eastern Michigan. This should be absolutely no problem for the Wildcats. Uh, I think they'll win this one pretty easily. Number two at Florida. All right, so it was it was looking last year like Kentucky might might have gone their second straight win against Florida. Obviously, they had like a Florida had like a thirty something win streak going. I think it was thirty one wins a thirty one game win streak against Kentucky, uh, and Kentucky, uh, you know they they broke that streak in two thousand eighteen in the swamp. Last year, it looked like the Wildcats might might repeat and get that win streak too. But they lost. Florida came back. That was the game where Kyle Trask uh, came in for Felipe Franks. And obviously from there on, Kyle Trask was the star for the Gators. He did pretty good this season. They lost, I believe, by six points. I think the final score was 27-21. So the Gators came back. Uh, for this upcoming season, I think the Gators are going to be a very good football team. I'm not going to lie about this one. The Gators look stacked. Besides losing C.J. Henderson, their defense should be just as good as it was last season. They've got a great recruiting class, the top 10 one. Uh, and they're also going to have Kyle Trask coming back. He's probably going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. So similar roster last year, uh, but still I feel like the Gators are just more talented than Kentucky. And it's in the swamp. I have the Gators winning this one. I don't think Mullen's going to lose a second straight or in the swamp again to Kentucky like he did in 2018. So I have the Gators uh, winning. Winning this one. Three Kent State, this should be no problem. Uh, yeah, this should be an easy win for them. Four South Carolina. So, South Carolina last year, I will admit, they went four and eight, but they had one of the harsh schedules in all of college football. So, I think they were a little bit better than people actually thought they were. I mean, their cupcake game was App State. App State was one of the easiest games on their schedule, and App State still went 13 1. I mean, it, it's that crazy. They had so many tough games Georgia, Alabama. I mean, they had Clemson. It, it goes on and on. Florida, so many tough games. Uh, so I think they're a little bit better than people think they are. I believe they actually beat Kentucky last year in a close one. This upcoming season, it's at Kentucky. I'm expecting it to be close. I think South Carolina is going to be going to be a bowl eligible team. Uh, at the end of the day, though, I'm going to take the Wildcats by maybe three to seven points. Uh, you know, but this could be an unexpected trap game. So I have the Wildcats winning, but I definitely think it'll be close. Five at Auburn. I would say this is the most interesting game of the season because Joey Gatewood, of course, the quarterback for the Wildcats, he transferred from Auburn, so he's going back to Auburn. So it should be an interesting game. You know, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Jordan Hare is a very tough place to play. The uh, the you look at the uh, Tigers for this upcoming season. They look pretty good on paper. Besides losing Derek Brown, they look pretty good. Their only other losses are like guys like. Jatarvius Whitlow. I mean, Bo Nix should be better. Uh, they still have a decent wide receiver core, and I think their defense should be fine. It shouldn't be that bad. And they've got a pretty good recruiting class, a top 10 one. Uh, so Auburn, though, said that they're going to be a very good football team next year. You know, I'm sure they're going to want to beat Joey Gatewood's team. Uh, so I have the, the Tigers winning this one. It could be close, but just it's in Auburn. You know, it's a tough game for Kentucky, in my opinion. Tough place to play. Uh, so I'm taking the Tigers here. Eastern Illinois should be no problem. They'll win this one. Vanderbilt, that's another easy one. They win that one. At Missouri, could cause some trouble. The Tigers last year, I believe, went 6-6. Six and six. 
Uh, they, you know, they were okay. They didn't make a bowl because of, like, s trouble with the NCAA. Uh, but they were an average team last year. I don't think they're going to be that great this upcoming season either. Uh, I have Kentucky winning this one, but I think it could be close. It definitely could be close. Nine bye week. Decent time to have the bye week right before a big game. Uh, you know, tough stretch that you're about to start. So a good time to have the bye week. Ten at Tennessee. Tennessee beat Kentucky last year in a close one, and I think Tennessee has improved quite a lot. Uh, you know, th that whole last season, they just improved as the season went on. I mean, they started out terrible, losing to Georgia State, losing to BYU, getting slammed by teams like Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. And then after that, they were very good for the rest of the season. So I think Tennessee is going to be a very good football team. It's at Nayland Stadium, tough place to play for Kentucky. Uh, you know, I think it could be close. But I feel like Tennessee just overall has a lot of talent. They have a pretty good recruiting class. I believe according to 24-7 Sports, they actually have a top 10 recruiting class. Uh, so they're going to be a pretty talented football team. I like what Pruitt's doing over there. I have the Wildcats. I mean, I have the uh, Volunteers winning this one. Uh, so they hand the Wildcats another loss. Mississippi State. So this one, you know, I feel like with Mike Leach... This one should be an interesting matchup. Any game with Mike Leach is going to be pretty interesting. But, you know, I think Mississippi State's definitely going to be a better football team than they were last year because they have Mike Leach. It is a home game for the Wildcats. I think this one will be close. It could really go either way. It's a 50-50 ball game. I think they're both uh, just equally as good. Uh, you know, so this could be a 50-50 ball game. 12 Georgia hate to say it, but it is a loss. It's definitely going to be a loss. Georgia, at this point, fighting down the stretch. They're going to be in the playoff race. They're not going to slip up towards the end of the season. They might have one loss at this point, even if they're undefeated, but they're going to be very determined uh, to finish the stretch finish you know the stretch uh, strong. And I really don't think Georgia's going to lose late in the season. I, th feel, I feel like Kentucky gets them at a bad time. Uh, so I have the Bulldogs winning this one. 13 at Louisville. Uh, listen, big rival, obviously, Kentucky hates Louisville. This one should be interesting because Louisville is also a team that's improving. I give the Wildcats the edge here. I think they're the better team uh, just because, you know, I, I feel like better recruiting class. You look at the... You look at the game last year, Kentucky blew them out. Uh, so I think Louisville can definitely be better next season. I would still give the edge to Kentucky. I feel like they have the upper hand in this rival rivalry, but it could be close. Uh, so overall, again, that's a tough schedule. I understand Wildcats fans, you know, I gave them a few losses. Overall, I have them at 7-5. and five. And I understand that might not be what they like to see. It's the same record as they had last regular season. But you, you just look at their schedule... It's really tough, in my opinion. I don't think they get, uh, you know, an easy schedule. I mean, just at Florida, at Tennessee, uh, you know, at Auburn. Those are three games that are really tough. Georgia, late in the season, that's going to be a game they pretty much lose. So that's four games off the bat where pretty much guaranteed losses, in my opinion. And the rest of the season, I feel like they lose one somewhere in there. They lose maybe, whether it's Missouri, Mississippi State, or Louisville, I feel like they lose one of those games as well. So 7-5 and five overall, and again, that's something Wildcats fans might not like to hear. It'll probably get them to like an average bowl game again, uh, but I just feel like the schedule is pretty hard, and you know, the SEC is just looking very good this upcoming season. Great talent. Uh, so I have the uh, I have the Wildcats going seven and five. It could definitely be eight and four if they don't slip up against teams like Mississippi State or Louisville or Missouri. It could be eight and four. Uh, but I have them at seven and five uh, just because I think they'll slip up in at least one of those games. But you know, just just a tough schedule, very tough schedule in my opinion. I think the SEC East is definitely improving, and they don't get a good crossover with the, with an SEC West team in Auburn, obviously. So it's a tough schedule. You know, at least their out-of-conference games are very easy. That's the good thing. Their out-of-conference games are pretty easy. But, you know, it's, in my opinion, a pretty tough in-conference schedule. So I have them at 7-5. and five, uh, But make sure to leave your feedback and comments down below whether you, whether you think they'll do better or worse. I really don't think they'll do worse than 7-5. and five. It could be 8-4 and four as well. That's where I would say the range is from 7-5 and five to 8-4. and four. But again, make sure to leave your uh, feedback below, and please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in.